Surface Technology specializes in electroless nickel plating as both a manufacturer of EN plating solutions and as a plating job shop. Our solar-powered, zero-discharge facility has been awarded top shop honors by Products Finishing Magazine seven times. We are pleased to share the best practices from our top shop. In this video, we show how to plate electroless nickel on aluminum parts. This is a general procedure that can be varied depending on the actual aluminum alloy to be plated. Quality electroless nickel plating on aluminum with optimal adhesion and appearance starts with the proper pretreatment process. At STI, our process starts with an alkaline non-etch soap cleaner. Typically the parts are immersed for 5 minutes at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. After the soap cleaning, it is important to rinse the parts very well. The soap cleaner may contain oil or other materials that can interfere with the next steps in the pretreatment process. Spray them off thoroughly and then immerse the parts in a rinse tank. Twenty to thirty seconds in the rinse tank should be sufficient. Now the parts are ready for the alkaline etch cleaner. The degree of etching depends on the specific aluminum alloy being treated plus the time, temperature, and concentration of the etch cleaner. Typically 20 to 30 seconds in the etch cleaner at 160 degrees Fahrenheit is effective. The parts should darken between a light gray to black depending on the alloy. It is important to do this step with precision. As you see, there will be a significant reaction as the etch cleaner is dissolving aluminum from the surface of the parts. This is necessary to get to bare aluminum that is free of any oxidation that would interfere with proper adhesion of the electroless nickel plating. Be prepared to remove the parts on time and with a hose to spray them off as they are lifted from the tank. After thorough spray rinsing to minimize drag out, move the parts quickly to immerse them in a water rinse tank. 20 to 30 seconds in the rinse tank should be sufficient. After the rinse, an optional step that we prefer at STI and recommend is to put the parts into an ultrasonic rinse tank. This contains water at 100 degrees Fahrenheit plus a small amount of a mild soap solution. A one-minute immersion in the ultrasonic rinse tank can remove a significant amount of the smut that was formed on the surface of the aluminum during the etch cleaning. Removing some of this smut in an ultrasonic will make the next desmut or deoxidize more effective and help that solution last longer. Remove the parts from the ultrasonic cleaner and immerse them in a clean cold water rinse for 20 to 30 seconds. After the rinse, immerse the parts into a desmut or deoxidizer solution. This will remove all remaining smut or oxide on the surface and get the surface down to bare aluminum. We recommend a product called Teshevon Deox Liquid EL made by the Teshevon Company in Fort Mill, South Carolina. The typical immersion time is 3 minutes at room temperature. We prefer this longer, and therefore more forgiving, immersion in this more mild solution compared to a shorter immersion in a stronger acid solution. Notice how clean the aluminum looks after the desmut process. Do not spray rinse over the desmut solution since it is a room temperature solution and there will not be any evaporation to compensate. Briefly allow the deoxidizer solution to drain off the parts back into the tank. Then immerse the parts into a clean water rinse tank. Lift the parts out of the rinse tank and move them to the zincate solution. Immerse the parts into the zincate solution. This will be the first zincate step of our double zincate process. Doing two zincate steps will improve plating quality and the life of the electroless nickel bath by forming a tighter and thinner zincate layer on the aluminum surface. This means less buildup of zincate in the EN bath which helps extend the life of the bath and reduce the possibility of adhesion problems. The zincate solution is room temperature, and the first zincate step is typically 40 seconds. You may want to adjust the timing depending on the aluminum alloy if needed. After the first zincate step is complete, remove the parts and move them to a clean water rinse tank. We use dedicated rinse tanks for each step in the process so there is no possibility of different pretreatment solutions building up and reacting together in the rinse water. 
In this case, this rinse tank is only used for parts after the zinc 8 step. Notice the parts are now light gray instead of the more white color before the zinc 8. Remove the parts from the rinse tank after 25 seconds. Precise timing is important on all steps in the aluminum pretreatment process. Move the parts to the next step which is a 50% solution of nitric acid and water at room temperature. A 60-second dip in the 50% nitric acid solution will remove most of the zincate on the surface of the aluminum parts. This is in preparation for the second zincate step. Proper personal safety and environmental protection precautions are important for this and all steps in the process. Read all product documents and SDS sheets before operating this process. Lift the parts from the 50% nitric acid solution and immerse them in a dedicated cold water rinse for 25 seconds. Do not spray the parts above the 50% nitric acid. Now you are ready for the second zinc 8 step. Move the parts to the same zinc 8 tank as before, still at room temperature. This time, only immerse the parts for 20 seconds in the zinc 8 solution. This is less time than the first zinc 8 step because only a thin layer of zinc 8 on the parts is required. A thicker zinc 8 layer on the parts will be harder for the electroless nickel bath to wash off and therefore can cause problems with coating adhesion. Excessive zinc 8 in the EN bath will also reduce the life of the EN bath. Proper maintenance of the zincate and all other pretreatment solutions and rinse waters is important for consistent quality. After the precise amount of time in the zincate solution, remove the parts and immerse them in a cold water rinse. This can be the same dedicated rinse tank used after the first zincate step. Rinse for 25 seconds. Do not spray the parts because this could disturb the zinc 8 on the surface of the aluminum and cause coating problems. Next, dip the parts in a second rinse tank. This should be with very clean water because it will be the final rinse before the electroless nickel bath. STI recommends a slightly shorter 20-second rinse. Then move the parts quickly to the electroless nickel tank. Make sure there is as little drag in of the rinse water into the EN bath as possible. Have the EN bath at the correct temperature, pH, and concentration before you start the aluminum pretreatment process and especially before the parts are put into the bath. Notice the gassing on the parts once the plating reaction starts. Leave the parts in the bath until the desired plating thickness is achieved, while maintaining the bath's concentration, temperature, and pH. As always, please contact Surface Technology Inc. for any more information or assistance we can provide for plating aluminum or any other electroless nickel requirements you may have. The Surface Technology team hopes this video is helpful to your best practices of electroless nickel plating. For more information, please see the websites and YouTube channel addresses listed on the screen. By subscribing to this channel, you will be notified each time we launch additional videos. We also invite you to contact us for any additional assistance you would like regarding electroless nickel plating, single component one plate solutions, and composite electroless nickel with materials such as PTFE, diamond, silicon carbide, boron nitride, and more for advanced performance. In addition to the resources in our plating shop, manufacturing operations, and R&D laboratory, Surface Technology is supported worldwide by an outstanding network of distributors that can provide one-plate solutions, as well as other chemicals, equipment, and plating services. Our products are made by platers, for platers. Thank you.